Mr. Tillerson, like BP on page 11.6 of your plan, ExxonMobil's Gulf of Mexico oil spill response plan lists walruses under sensitive biological and human resources. As I am sure you know, uh, there aren't any walruses in the Gulf of Mexico, and there have not been for three million years. How can ExxonMobil have walruses in their response plan for the Gulf of Mexico? Congressman Markey, those response plans incorporate a number of broad-based studies, marine mammal studies, many of which are part of the EIS and EIA statements that are put together by the MMS, and much of the response plan and what is contained in it is prescribed by regulation, including the models that are used to project different scenarios for oil spills, and many of the statements and representations that are in the plan. These are, these are regional oil spill response plans. They How can refer... walruses be in a response plan for the Gulf of Mexico? This is a re regional response plan that each of you had to put together. And it's unfortunate that walruses were included, and it's, it's an embarrassment that they were included, but that's part of a larger marine mammal study that is used in that's used in preparing regional response plans. Mr. Mulva, um, your plan as well includes walruses. Uh, Mr. Watson, your plan has them on page 11.6. How do you respond to having walruses in your plan? Respond in, respond in a similar fashion. The plans are put together. Uh, in response to uh, guidelines from the Minerals Management Service. Do you agree that it's an embarrassment to have walruses in a response plan for the Gulf of Mexico, Certainly Mr. Watson? Certainly the Gulf of Mexico, that's not appropriate. Mr. Mulva, do you agree it's an embarrassment to have it in a plan to respond to a crisis in the Gulf of Mexico? I agree it's not appropriate to include for that region. In